It's your boy, Mr. Big Body Flex the fuck up. Welcome back, guys. I'm sorry I've been in my A for a while. I've just been doing a lot of fucking work. Like I told you guys, I work almost every day. As soon as I start making more money from YouTube, as I do from work, I can start even the balance up. But right now, I gotta work, 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 work. But Rihanna said, hey, but welcome back, guys. Today, we're, it's nothing special. Just like a little wake and bake talk sesh. Like, I'm gonna be talking about, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be talking about stuff that's been on my mind lately, such as the DMX thing, RP My Nigga X. Um, the, the difference between exotic weed and regular weed, like today, we're smoking some regular cookies today, the difference between like cookies and like your gelatos and like your gelatos from like your runs and like all kinds of shit today. It's not a smorgasbord of conversation, so y'all stay tuned with me, make sure y'all rolling some dank with me and let's get to it. Good. Mm -hmm. First thing I want to talk about, uh, I know I'll talk about X first, BMX, I mean, but let's go ahead and talk about just how the fucking quarantine is still like, not a, well not quarantine, COVID is low key phasing out. Even though people still are getting COVID, places are still, like, there. I realize people aren't as afraid to go outside anymore. And it's kind of cool, like, bro, I remember a couple years ago, I fell outside, I wouldn't see anybody at parks, like, no one's doing anything outside. It's like, everybody's inside on a game, on a tablet, computer, TV, something, right? But nowadays, I go outside, and niggas are actually hooping and shit, I'm like, damn, bro, like, I want to go play basketball now. I'm a, I'm a fucking wrestler. I want to go make that. They're just going to play basketball and shit like that. And I don't know. I find it pretty cool. Like, this post-COVID world that we're going to get into looks a lot like the 90s. Again. And if you live in the 90s and the 90s, early 2000s, days, you're a kid back then, bro. You understand what I mean? Like, niggas are actually going outside and doing stuff. People are not just sitting at home and like, oh, let me play this Xbox real quick. Or, oh, bro, let me just say it. I'm like, no, niggas are actually outside doing stuff, organizing stuff, especially in my city, bro. The city this year is going up during summer. I don't think I say, I live in Fresno, guys. I live in California, I live in Fresno. And there's a lot of great stuff happening, such as different venues, different concerts, different stuff. Like, whatever you like, whatever your niche is, whether it's weed, whether it's music, whether it's clothes, whether it's skateboarding, whether it's anything, bro. Everybody's little niches are starting to rise slowly, and that's pretty cool. Like, you guys should obviously give yourself a cloud, cloud round of applause, because that's just pretty cool. Like, we're progressing as a people, and that's pretty hard to, just like, just to see as a person. I don't know. I love my city. I love everybody in the city, even though, like, yeah, I love everybody in my city. I would say, even though there's some beef between other people, bro, like, if you're my city, bro, I love you, and yeah, but, um, how have you guys been, bro? Tell me how you guys been in the comments below. Tell me what you guys are doing this weekend, next weekend. Tell me something cool. Just talk to me. Tell me something about something. Tell me about fucking Albert Einstein's last fucking breath. I don't know. Just talk to me. <laughs> but no, seriously. Y'all see this one? A fucking haircut. <laughs> but um, today we're rolling up some animal cookies. No exotics today. We're going to take a break from exotics. I haven't taken a little exotic break because once you smoke so much exotics, so you become like, like almost like exotic overloaded. And I just need to go back to like a little break. So I'm going to still get the high in me. But it's like almost like a, it's like I'm taking a, what's it called? A tolerance break while I'm still smoking weed. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. If y'all haven't tried exotic at least once, exotic weed, like actual real exotics, not no runs for $35 an eighth. No, not possible to get real runs for $35 an eighth. I'm talking about some real, real deal, holy bill, Zaza. I would suggest everybody at least smoke it once. Whether it's a blunt, whether you buy the full quarter, the full eighth. You should just try it just to test it out for you. For me, I believe exotics are worth it because it's a different quality high. It's better quality. It's quality over quantity at this point. You don't need to smoke a 3.5 to be fucking zooted. Like a one gram wood of some flower 22, you'll be out for like three hours. Like that shit put me down. I was out of fucking kush coma on the middle of the floor over here. Just out for like two, three hours off of one gram of that shit. I was like, damn. So shout out to the fundraisers. Y'all y'all killing the fuck. Let me tell y'all. You guys are really killing the fucking game with the weed y'all be putting out. From the gooseberries, the flower 22, the dinner, the one. Bro, y'all doing the damn thing. Congratulations to y'all. Ghetto Farm Boys, y'all making moves too. Jokes up. Everybody out here that's successfully grinding, bro, y'all are making moves out here. Don't think y'all going to notice, bro. Don't think y'all going to notice because that shit's hard. But yeah, um, today, again, we're going off the woods. If you guys know me, Black Russian Creams. I got another pack right here. But yeah, I just, bro, I'm a, I'm a real wood smoker, bro. Today, we're going to smoke some Black Russian Creams by Backwoods. Backwards, bro. Y'all need to start. Tap in with me, bro. Let me be a, tap in with the boy. <laughs> um, but no. So today, guys, I definitely want to just talk to you guys. And I don't know, bro. I've been going through some shit, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna, like let some shit out on camera. That I don't know. I don't have people to talk to usually. I'm hella busy, 
and my homies are hella busy too. So when we do talk, we talk forever, but we don't get to talk to every day. A chance to talk every day type shit. Um, so what's been on my mind lately, bro? I'm actually getting ready to go back to college for um, wrestling. I'm going to go get a pr pursue my degree in psychology. I'm going to go try to get a state championship and hopefully be the best wrestler of the year, pound for pound, not just heavyweight. I want to be the best overall wrestler that year. So that's pretty cool. That's what I've been working on lately. I'm just doing this movie company. I know a lot of people ask me, well, what do you do for a job? You can buy a lot of table boom. Well, I work at a moving company. Um, we move boxes, we move couches. Anything else we move from houses to apartments, office, warehouses, we got you. Hit us up. If you need a moving company, hit me in the DMs on Instagram at Big Body Bane. B I G B O D Y B A Y N E. Go ahead and follow me on there, guys. And, um, DM me any questions you guys have from moving to weed to fucking. Hey, bro, what's your favorite astronaut? I'm, I'll definitely ask you guys because I love talking to you guys. I just love interacting with y'all. But yeah, I'm finna go ahead and roll this bad boy right here real quick. I had to sit down. I'm finna roll this bad boy right here. Look at that backwoods. Mmm. Mmm, classy bitch. Mmm, clutch the ass real quick. <laughs> now I'm finna roll this bad boy, guys. So Wake and bake session. If you guys aren't smoking with me, vaping with me, or dabbing with me, bro, I'm gonna feel kind of upset. So go ahead and make sure I roll one real quick. You can pause the video. Go ahead and roll one, twist one up real quick, and let's smoke in three. In two, in one. How the? I just bought well, this in a. I don't know, bro. Well, what's up? I'm back, guys. Um, but yeah, um, smoking this. I smoked already half the one already. My bad, guys. I kind of forgot about the whole video theme because I saw you get high. Because I got high, the rapper man said, I forgot. But I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um,. Let's talk about this little Nas X controversy. I know I'm a little bit late to the party. Fuck little Nas X. You know what? We got a better X to talk about. Not better, but different X. So little Nas X, respectively, is pretty cool. Like, y'all might not fuck with that video and shit, but he's on some other shit. Y'all better watch out. This nigga's coming for heads this year. I don't think I'm saying. Um, RIP my nigga DMX, bro. I'm not saying I was the biggest fan of him, but I definitely was a fan of him. The ex gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. Or um, the Rough Riders anthem. That shit was hard. Stop. Drop. Shut it down. Open up shop. Whoa. Whoa. Like, that shit was hard. Like, that nigga had hella storytelling songs, too. I don't know the names of them. But that nigga was actually a really good rapper. So, RIP him. We definitely lost a fucking legend. Bro, what's up with us losing so many rappers in, like, the last three to four years, bro? Not only fucking rappers, great rappers. Like, that nigga fucking Takashi still walking around living. That nigga fucking Soulja Boy still walking around living. Like, I'm not wishing death upon anybody, bro, but. Niggas like fucking DMX. Niggas like Juice World. Niggas like XXX and Thoughts Yo. Niggas who had real talent and actually loved the craft and didn't do it just for the hype of it, bro. They're gone, fool. Like, that shit hurts us because of me. I don't know if you guys know, uh, all the music that I play in the background of my videos, those are all my songs. I'm gonna post a list in the description so y'all can see. Well, y'all fuck with me, y'all fuck with me, y'all fuck with me, y'all don't, y'all don't. But I, I'm a real, I, I'm an artist, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm a creative, I love creating stuff, whether it's music, whether it's YouTube videos, whether it's directing videos, whether it's editing, bro. Like, I'm a real creative, and to see somebody as creative as DMX go away, bro, that just hurt me as a whole ass creative. I'm like, damn, bro, that nigga was an absolutely great person. Like, yeah, he went to prison and shit, but think about it, bro. He was dirt poor, made it rich, and like he realized in all the fucking steps in between that he was happy because he was doing the stuff he loved. He, like that nigga lived a great life. Yeah, he had problems with drugs, bro. Yeah, he did. Okay, so fucking boy, a lot of people do. The only difference between him and most people is that he was a, he was a famous celebrity and other people aren't. If he wasn't famous, bro, y'all would never do about his drug problem. So he's famous. Oh, he got a drug problem. Oh, whoa, see him, no, fuck y'all niggas down. He's that nigga was honestly a great person. He could act too. Like that shit with him and Jet Li was pretty cool. I might have been lying to you. I watched that a lot. When I watched that movie a lot. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. RPX, bro. That that shit hurt. RPX and RPX. RP DMX and RP. My nigga XX is a thousand young. A legend, bro. Fucking legends. And anybody who said XX has a thousand young was not a legend, just go through his whole discography. Not only on Apple Music, but also on SoundCloud, also on YouTube. Just go through all his shit and tell me that nigga not a legend. He can make any fucking thing he wanted and killed everything he fucking put out. So, fuck y'all who say he's not a legend, too. Dead homies. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. 
Uh, recently, I just got the carbide sixes. Uh, those are pretty fucking cool. Oh, I just ordered the Stealth Runner fives too. Um, I got a little outfit I'm doing for you guys. I'm actually gonna post another video this month. So listen, in two weeks, hold me to my word, guys. Hold me to my words. In about two weeks, maybe even less, two weeks is the maximum deadline. I'm gonna post uh, something, a video that's really meaningful to me. It's for autism awareness and ADHD awareness. This is April. We're in autism awareness and ADHD awareness month. Um, something that's really heavy on me because I have some. I suffer from both. I'm autistic and I have ADHD. And it does take a toll on me sometimes. It definitely does. But I'm not going to let it fucking define who I am. I think it's definitely a blessing that I have ADHD and autism, to be real. Like, my brain power is out of this world. And my just will to never give up It's out of this world. And my energy level is always out of this world. So, yeah, people think it's a bad thing. But it's not a bad thing. It is a, it's what you make it, to be real. Um, I definitely got struggles growing up with it. But you know what? I'm good. I'm getting too deep with what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> this member, two weeks, that's two weeks. Uh, we'll set a date. What's today? We'll say, fuck, what is today? I'm high as a bitch. We'll say the 24th. The 24th of the video will be out. Um, yeah, guys, by the 24th, that video will be out. I've been working on that video. I actually been like, as we ride and shit to that video, my whole whiteboard. I always have two whiteboards, bro, because whiteboards are fun to ride on. Um, but yeah. I'm high as a bitch. I look high as shit right now. Hold on. Hold on! Oh, yeah, guys. I'm dropping a mixtape pretty soon, too. With well, my nigga Berm. Uh, I want to drop this on 420. So I got to hurry up the production on it just a little bit. Just a tad bit. I don't want to rush it because, again, quality over quantity. But me and my nigga Berm, he is definitely... He made me some fire-ass customs, bro. And I got to shout out the nigga out because that nigga's really with the business. That nigga's hard. If you want to produce stuff, guys, if you guys need producers, if you guys like the Detroit-type beats, the Flint, the Michigan... I mean, the, the Flint, Detroit, our Michigan type beats, like the still suits in your states, like the YMJ, TJ86, Rio D G, G, RMC Mike, ESTG, stuff like that. If you guys like that, those type of beats, hit my boy Burm up. I'm going to drop his shit on my Instagram. So if you guys want to really go get the beats, you got know, some real rappers out here, purchase your beats, go to my nigga. He charges great prices. I'm not saying they're cheap, but for what he does, they're great prices. He's going to work with you, bro, for real, for real. So again, hit my nigga Burm up. Yeah, yeah. Also, like, I don't know, like, why sometimes, but sometimes, like, I don't know. I just don't want to be the smoke anymore. Like, not, like, ever again, but like, sometimes, like, if I go, like, smoke fucking exotics every fucking day for, like, two, three weeks straight, I'm like, damn, I don't want to smoke this anymore because, like, I know I'm going to be high as a bitch. And so that's why I kind of like cookies and shit. Like, the cookies go crazy, bro. Cookies is a good strain that's always going to be a top-tier strain. Uh, not an exotic top-tier, but, like, a top-tier indoor strain, for real, for real, like, Cookies will always have like a good name because it's fucking cookies. Cookies is cookies. You know it's gonna get you high. You know what it feel like. You know it's gonna be a great time. You can really never go wrong with cookies on some real shit. But oh shit, I ripped the wood. Oh no. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Um, that's pretty much what I'm... Oh, no, I lied. Who here plays 2K or GTA? If y'all have an Xbox um, One, I know, I'm not like the PS5 or the PS4, or the Xbox One right now, but guess what players play Xbox One too? That shit's actually hella fun. Um, if y'all got Xbox One, y'all play 2K, y'all play GTA, UFC, I'm actually by the by Skate 3 too. If y'all play any of those games, bro, hit me up. Let's play sometimes. I'm always looking for people to play, bro. On my days off, <clears throat> I love playing that shit. It gets my mind off of everything. Plus, it would be cool to interact with you guys. Honestly, bro, like, people... I don't know. I want to interact with everybody who I fucking commented with, bro. I want to interact with everybody who watched my video. Because that's just hella cool to meet new people and, like, develop new relationships type shit. Even we play, like, once a fucking month. That's hella cool. I'm like, hey, bro, like, what's good? What's, how you been, like, type shit? Like, for real, for real. Fuck with the boy. Because the boy's gonna fuck with you type shit. But on that note, guys, I actually have to get ready for work right now. So, I, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. But this is it. Sayonara. A Raven Uh. I said, love you, stuff, baby. <laughs> All right, it's been your boy, Mr. Big Body. Flex the fuck up. I'm out. Peace.